the future of the Greater Rift Valley, specifically the interaction between the Somali Plate and the Nubian, or African Tectonic Plate, is a fascinating topic in the field of geology and plate tectonics. The Greater Rift Valley is a geologically active region where tectonic plates are moving apart, and its future will be shaped by the ongoing processes of continental rifting and plate movement. Tectonic setting. The Greater Rift Valley, often referred to as the East African Rift, is a continental rift where the Somali Plate and the Nubian Plate are slowly moving away from each other. This rifting is happening along a fault zone that extends from the Red Sea in the north to Mozambique in the south. Somali Plate. This is the Eastern Plate, which includes the Horn of Africa and the surrounding oceanic crust. Nubian Plate. The Nubian Plate, also known as the African Plate, is the Western Plate and includes much of the African continent. As these plates pull apart, the region is experiencing significant geological activity, including volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and the formation of large faults. Future of the Greater Rift Valley. One, continued rifting. Over millions of years, the rift will continue to widen as the Somali plate moves away from the Nubian plate. This will lead to the gradual expansion of the Rift Valley. Eventually, this rifting process could lead to the formation of a new ocean basin as the rift continues to deepen and split the continent apart. If the rifting progresses far enough, the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden could eventually connect, creating a new ocean. 2. Formation of a new ocean. Some geologists believe that in tens of millions of years, the East African rift could evolve into a new ocean. The separation of the Somali and Nubian plates could cause the region between them to sink, forming a body of water. This process is similar to what occurred millions of years ago with the Atlantic Ocean, where continental rifting led to the separation of land masses and the formation of an ocean. 3. Volcanic activity. As the plates continue to separate, the region will likely experience ongoing volcanic activity. This is already evident in places like Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Kenya, and the active volcanoes in Ethiopia. The movement of magma from the Earth's mantle to the surface will continue to create volcanic features along the rift. Some scientists predict that the rift zone may eventually produce new volcanic islands, or even a chain of volcanic islands, as the rifting process deepens. 4. Earthquakes and faulting. The rifting process also leads to frequent earthquakes. As the plates pull apart, stress builds up along faults, leading to seismic activity. The East African Rift is already one of the most seismically active regions on Earth, and as rifting continues, it is likely that earthquakes will remain a regular occurrence, especially near the boundary between the Somali and Nubian plates. 5. Environmental and Climatic Changes The geological activity in the region could have long-term effects on the environment and climate. For instance, the formation of new volcanic islands or changes in the topography could alter local weather patterns. Additionally, the creation of a new ocean or body of water could significantly change the regional climate over geological timescales, affecting the ecosystems and human populations living in the area. Human impact. While the rifting process is very slow, it could have significant implications for the populations living in the region. As volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and other tectonic events continue, Local communities may face challenges, including the displacement of people, destruction of infrastructure, and changes in local agriculture due to volcanic soil or climate shifts. Summary. The future of the Greater Rift Valley, shaped by the interaction of the Somali and Nubian plates, is one of gradual and dramatic geological transformation. Over millions of years, this region will continue to rift, potentially leading to the formation of a new ocean, along with ongoing volcanic and seismic activity. While these changes are far in the future, they offer a glimpse into the dynamic nature of Earth's tectonic processes and how they shape the planet's surface over time.